Welcome to my site and first of all let me thank you for your encouragement and interest or even uh, turning up here to, um, to join me for a few moments to share some of the thoughts on the works that uh, I've been involved with recently. I'm very honoured to be able to share that information with you. Thank you. Um, I've just finished a film with Marcello De Francisi called Tears of Gaza, which is about Gaza and Pal uh, the Palestinian area um, in Israel, around Israel, well, next to Israel, inside Israel. Um, it's uh, quite a harrowing project and hasn't yet been given a release. And because of its uh, delicate material, it will probably be some time before it is given a release. One thing I would like to say about this particular project that I would like my own audience to appreciate is that there is no racial um, uh, discrimination from my perspective or, or preference in this work. It is simply done because I believe that the hatred in this area has to stop. The other thing that has the most recent project, which has just been finished uh, recently, is um, Oranges and Sunshine, which is a Jim Loach uh, English film with Emily Watson and Hugo Weaving. Uh, it is a film about um, uh, children that were uh, sent out of England and reinstated in the Australian desert. That's all I'd like to say about that at this stage. What I'm hoping to see, most things are embryonic at this stage um, uh, because the attention of my work has predominantly been in cinema in the last period of time. But um, it is all a place where I can release my own work, my collaborations and the work of others um, that I'm hoping to come to the site. What I'm finding difficult though is building up the email database to such a degree that I can um, get a new a new uh, performer's work out there with ease, uh, without touring. And while I'm doing cinema cinematic works, it's difficult because my plan was that if I had three new artists on the site, that they would come on tour with me, help me with the musicianship of my own work, and also play their own pieces in a set of music and that that would be a Gerard uh, Records thing. Gerard Records is not a traditional record company as such. Sorry. It's more a catalyst for artistic outlets for others that wouldn't be heard otherwise. The goals of Gerard Records, I kind of see it as, you know, my dream of it is to sort of become like an Andy Warhol factory for artists that you have, um, that people can come and express themselves on many different levels, not just music that you know through um, painting and poetry and maybe you know sound poetry through spoken word that these things that collectively if you know if I can get that side of it happening where I have a studio space say it's here but um, that people can be recorded and then be introduced via my newsletter so that I might have one person a month that's featured and then um, depending on the interest that's taken then we can take pre-orders for that particular person's work so that we can print up something that's um, uh, more directed towards an artistic uh, um, uh, release as opposed to something that's, you know, sort of comes in with a shebang, if you know what I mean. I don't know. The work has always taken on a life of its own and it's not something that you can... Um, take control of or even really want to take complete control of and especially in today's world I mean you only have to look on YouTube and you know I see a lot of work that people do with pieces that I've been involved with or that I've written myself that have put these extraordinarily elaborate film uh, works together to marry with that music and it's really exciting and I'd like to see that as something that um, is developed as well and that you know there could be a documentary of listed works that come out of, of um, you know, that not necessarily things that I 
feel are the best, but things that I feel have the most care and love put into them. The Padam is a new project that is coming out that I did with Marcello De Francisi, which was, uh, the incentive for that was born of um, us working together on film projects and uh, that, you know, uh, we, through our love of music and um, uh, our relationship that was building together in a creative sense, we felt that there were times that we wanted to explore further musicality. And film doesn't always allow you to write the music that you want to write, it allows you the music that you are needed to write. And uh, so it was a fantastic outlet for us to be creative. We used an inverted way of working on this project where um, for most of the pieces there were very best sketches uh, created that I put the voice on because often with um, music and with my voice I must find a language inside the music that is unique to that piece and also that is an invocation if you like of a certain um, aspect of poetic uh, abstract content that uh, is suggested to me through the music and uh, in its innate musicality and um, often people will say to me if I'm working in cinema and things well can you do that singing that's like you know the host of the Seraphine or can you do that singing that's like sacrifice or can you do that singing that's like you know um, San Vienno and they don't realize that if the music is the the, um, the captain of what I sing I don't I'm not able to just paste um, you know, a language onto music, you know, it has to be suggested innately from the music itself first of all, otherwise it's not authentic and um, uh, and it's uncomfortable and it's calculated and it's no longer interesting. So, you know, unless things are allowed to be born um, in an organic sense, then the work uh, is in denial of its own organic um, essence. Well, I am an artist, I have an artistic soul, it's impossible for me not to create. So, um, in fact, if I don't create, then I must find some way of suppressing that uh, creative energy. Uh, because uh, society, the society that we live in today, is not necessarily a canvas for where creative energy can be expressed. You know, um, uh, what's the word, in a, in a relaxed manner, you know and uh, that there, is a cert there are certain expectations socially, especially of a woman in my age group, and being a mother of children, etc. Um, you know, so the creative process is important to me being able to maintain balance and sanity in my life.